Hello, my loves. Happy Tuesday. How are my lights doing today? I'm going to get started on this reading right away, guys. Let's see what Spirit has for us today. Okay, although somebody's feeling, uh, you know, a lot of pressure, a lot of financial pressure, you're manifesting, and I have to say this, you're manifesting quickly, super quickly, you're manifesting this uh, stability here and this financial offer. Okay, so let's go further. I'm seeing abundance here, and I'm seeing celebration. Uh, also, something is going to come to an end or something already ended all right for someone this is something you wanted and this is getting in the way of your happiness but i do see another offer coming in so whatever this is it's going to bounce back it's going to come back to you it looks like and i am seeing a lot of movement with this so nice all right so that which you thought was lost is coming back All right, I'm picking up on this um, mature masculine here who is uh, very powerful, very, um, you know, when this person speaks, people listen. All right, I'm seeing this person um, who went through a lot in their lifetime, um, just got over, just got past a very chaotic time in their life. All right, I'm seeing uh, justice coming in. I'm seeing a lot of happiness coming in. Uh, a lot of you know uh, good things you're going to get mental clarity on this and this mental clarity is part of the reason why um you know you're arranging your life now in such a way that you're you're unblocking things that are due to you that are coming in and i believe that might be from your cycle okay uh definitely has something to do with spirit all right All right, for this feminine, I'm seeing a lot of healing and giving. All right, I'm seeing this partner coming in. This is romantic. This could be a soulmate. I'm seeing this Knight of Cups. This is a sweep you off your feet kind of person, okay? This is very romantic. This is going to be very sensual, this relationship, very sexual, okay? Um, and this person is going to be a giver okay in more ways than one that's pretty funny all right so let's go further okay so so something just happened between two of you okay um the feminine rejected this masculine's offer all right so i i feel like i'm talking to a masculine right now you you tried to give your cup to this feminine and she said no or she wasn't ready or whatever she told you all right and um yeah she's a uh, very independent and she just uh, is liking her freedom right now for whatever reason um yeah so we're going to go further. All right. That feminine, by the way, um, she isn't rejecting you because of anything to do with you. All right. She's dealing with her own demons and for right now she it's not you she just doesn't want anybody in her life she doesn't want to complicate things with dating right now okay so maybe in the future all right so i'm looking at wow all right i'm talking to a person who's been alone for a really long time okay um yeah you've been keeping to yourself 
I'm seeing someone coming in for you. I'm seeing this lover coming in that is going to be, you know, you're going to be like, where have you been all my life kind of thing with this person. And I'm seeing this is a wish fulfillment coming to fruition. So if you had to check off all the boxes on this person, what you were looking for, this is them. And you're going to be celebrating. And it looks to me like, you know, guys, this is done by spirit. And a lot of times when people pass on, um, and their loved ones, especially like husbands, wives, you know, when they pass, they will send someone. They don't want you unhappy and they don't want you to be alone. Okay. And they will send someone that they feel is going to be perfect for you. Okay. So I just got a weird feeling that that might be what was going on right there. Okay. All right. All right, so, so I'm talking to a couple right now that is married, okay? One of you kind of moved away from the other. You took a break. Um, you thought this is what you wanted or you just wanted this break. You wanted to do some thinking. You weren't sure if this was, you know, where you should be right now. I'm seeing um, that you're going to work really hard on balancing this out. And this is going to be your victory. All right. This is something that actually, you know, you really want. But, you know, a chain of events came through that had you thinking twice about it. But you're going to realize and this is going to be your victory that you're meant to be with this person. You're going to want to stay with this person. Okay. And you're going to want to work harder on the marriage. Okay, so I'm getting the feeling that I'm talking to someone who is who is not with someone that needs them desperately right now. Okay, I don't know if this is a significant other or or somebody in your circle that, you know, a friend or what have you. But this person is so upset right now and feeling ignored by you. They went through something pretty terrible, it looks like. You didn't do it, all right? But... You're not being there for this person right now. And they, they really want you to be there. All right. Um, yeah. So if this is resonating, you know, I hope that you could be there for whoever this person is because they really care about you and they feel a deep, deep connection with you. All right, so I'm picking up on a feminine who's feeling alone right now. Um, and and you're, you're very unmotivated. You might be feeling a little depression. It looks like you're juggling your finances, borrowing from Peter to pay Paul. All right, over here, I'm seeing you picking up on something and this ace of pentacles coming in for you. All right, so um, you are an empath. So use your powers, use your ability to uh, pull things in to manifest because I'm seeing your powerful self here showing yourself as the empath and right next to you is this ace of pentacles which is wealth and prosperity and doors opening okay so you are amazing and you can manifest that ace of pentacles in all right here is the cycle uh, with this king of wands dead center so i'm speaking to a masculine all right there's something coming from your cycle for you this is a whole slew of awesomeness all you know wonderful things coming in for your betterment all right and you're going to get this communication something really good is coming for you from this cycle okay your cycle and it's going to be a new start like a new beginning it's something exciting all right you're, you're you're going to be blown away by this. I don't even know what it is, but it's looking like you are just going to be like, no way, no way. All right. So I'm seeing this uh, feminine here 
and then I'm seeing something toxic next to you and then I'm seeing a lot of um, I don't know if this is like fighting arguing over here I'm seeing defensiveness okay um, you don't need this person in your life anymore uh, you probably never did okay this person is bringing you so much heartache and so much uh, toxicity all right you're needing to move away from this person spirit wants you to move away from this person and they're saying that they have your back okay and they have been with you through thick and thin and they're going to continue to be with you so don't be afraid to be on your own and move away from all this okay all right they're saying also that once you move away from that whatever that situation is your life is going to change dramatically for the better okay um something uh needs to end here um this has something to do with okay so so somebody keeps like somebody's keeping company with this person because they've known them like their whole life they've known them forever all right, you've known this person for a really long time and this person, you know, they're not good. They're doing things behind the, you know, behind the scenes. They're sneaky. They lie. There's nothing good, good about this person. I mean, I'm sure there's something. I'm sure there's something good about this person, but you know, this has to end. It's, it's pretty, they're pretty bad. Okay. They want you to use your intuition. Spirit does use your intuition and end this relationship because you know, this isn't, it's not helping you and it's not good for you. All right. And here I'm seeing this queen of wands with this king of cups. Okay. And this king is trying to be strong right now. Okay. Because he's feeling like, okay, I see what's going on. So this king, at some point you were with this king and he left you out in the cold. All right. Now he wants to come back and you're making a decision. You're thinking about it. Okay. So he's having to be very strong right now. Spirit is saying that, you know, he realizes his mistake and this is really going to work out if you were to give him a second chance. Um, that's what spirit is saying about that. So second chances, here we go. Um, Aquas, um, again, you know, seeing money all around you. I'm seeing this King of Swords. I'm talking to a masculine here. King of Swords moving into new waters, okay? And over here, I'm seeing something spiritual connected with a lot of money. So money's coming in, contentment. Um, this is going to be like an overage where you're standing back. You have money in the bank. You can, you're going to feel secure. Okay. Because there's going to be more than what you're needing. Okay. All right. And let's see what this is about here. I'm seeing, um, Yeah, this is this is a knight of wands here who has gone through a lot of pain in his life. Um, a lot of things happened when you were younger, a lot of confusion, a lot of things that when you think back on them, you you regret a lot and you're you're having an issue staying in um, gratitude. OK, because you have a tendency to dwell and think about the past and there was a lot of negativity a lot of bad things within your family okay um so yeah we want to try to get in a state of gratefulness so that you can you know feel the happiness that's awaiting you and see all the opportunities that are out there waiting for you okay and they're saying you're really smart so they want you to um get in this state of gratitude and, you know, just keep telling yourself every day what you're grateful for. Don't focus on the negative. Don't focus on what you don't have. Don't focus on what happened in the past. Focus on now, today, right this moment, and going forward is what matters. 
okay and just stay in a state of gratefulness and your life is going to change you're going to raise your vibration you're going to start feeling happier and better about yourself and that is the reading i hope you guys enjoyed it and i hope it resonated take care